pretty good for us actually. I mean, we've been coming here for a number of years and I believe there's 30,000 or 33,000 people that are coming this year. And I feel like most of them have come past our stand already this morning. Wouldn't you agree, Terry? Yes, I would. The majority of our business has been housing and we've been coming here for years and it has generally only been housing sales that we've been looking at. Interestingly enough, last year a little bit, and but this morning in particular, we're getting a lot more, a lot more business and commercial inquiries as well, which is very encouraging for us. We're giving a sneak preview uh, ahead of our official launch later this month, uh, what we're calling Nano Bends, which is, uh, as Terry said, bringing control into our monitoring solution. So we've incorporated the kind of one of the world leading building management software systems called Niagara 4.2 from Tridium. And this will allow us to then, in the same monitoring system, it will allow us to now connect to air conditioning, heating, monitoring, to bring commercial building management systems into small footprint properties, sort of beyond just housing and for, for commercial. So that's really quite exciting for us. So I'd say typically we come for big hit events like this, where we know we can manage to see quite a lot of people in one go uh, from various different industries. Uh, we keep our website updated and we're about to be upgrading our website again, so it's always got a good source of information. And um, generally it's, it's a lot of it's relationship management and face-to-face, -face, so we kind of employ Salesforce and all of the sort of standard digital marketing techniques through that. We do spend a significant part of our marketing budget on this type of direct selling and networking, but we, we do very little magazine advertising. Uh, we've, we have tried it in the past and found it's nowhere near as cost effective as this type of thing, where you're going to get people who are specifically interested by the fact they've actually turned up. So obviously we're here. Uh, we've been sending blog or updating our blogs and sending newsletters out to people. And then we typically go through a sort of targeted uh, set of contacts, people that we know, people that we're doing business with, arranging to be here, asking them to come here, and then arranging kind of quite often networking. So a few lunches arranged this week for some people that were quite keen to move forward. Everyone's at the, uh, yeah. at the barcodes and we tend to spend a little bit of time in the office afterwards rather than using an automated system directing personalised yeah. uh, emails to each and every person trying to arrange follow-up meetings. Yeah. Um, so that, that, that's worked pretty well yeah. for us. The personalised approach works really well and what you're doing is talking to the people who are actually going to be making the decisions which is great so you don't waste a lot of time um, sending out email shots that a lot of people don't even open. <laughs> no, it's been phenomenally busy immediately after 10 and we've, re we've rarely been at the stand when there hasn't been at least two or three people inquiring at the same time. Uh, do use your lead scanning, do look at who else is at the show, try and find competitors but also companies who maybe you might be able to market to. Uh, quite often, especially, I mean, this morning was a little unusual that it was busy before the show's open, but we find it's actually quite a good time to network if you find companies that are also exhibiting that might be interested in your type of business, you can have quite a good conversation with them.